Des Bryant, former member of the Dallas Cowboys, tweets me, or tweets about me, rather, at Des Bryant. He wants some pub. Let's give him some pub. He writes, I really want to get in a boxing ring with Stephen A. Smith and Stuhl Presidente. I don't know who Stuhl Presidente is. He says, folks like them talk the way they do because they know they can't get touched. But I wish they would agree to get in the ring with me so I can unleash my frustration against them. I can beat the shit out of them without going to jail. I need that blessing. (sighs) Dez. I'm sad that you sent that tweet, my brother. For the record, to the audience out there, I've never had a problem with Des Bryant, not one time. I love the X. I used to troll them when they were Cowboy fans, but I never had an issue with Des. On a rare occasion, I've run into Des, always been respectful, always been cool. I can't believe I'm looking at a text like this. That's number one. Number two, beating the shit out of somebody without going to jail is a blessing. Really, bro? What's going on in your life that you would send a text like that? I'm sorry, a tweet like that. What's going on in your life that you would be that hateful? Des Bryant has had a lot of problems in his life. Some would argue some are self-inflicted, some undoubtedly not. When the media was covering the Dallas Cowboys, forcing him to go on tirades in the locker room while it's being filmed and everybody's watching, that wasn't Stephen A. Smith. When he reportedly got into some altercation that involved potential legal action involving his own mom. That was Stephen A. Smith. When he sued a senator, that was Stephen A. Smith. When Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys decided to let him go, Stephen A. didn't support that. And anything that I did was All in fun, just trolling cowboys. That's all. It's no, you know, it's like it's like you know, you got a fan base and you got folks that you know hate the opposing team. But it's all in fun. That's why I get along with Jerry Jones because he knows it's all in fun. I don't mean we don't mean anything by it. Is Dallas Cowboys win the Super Bowl, so I ain't gonna lose no sleep over his cold. Why would you send a tweet like that? And what is this guy, Stu, Stu Presidente? He's a state. Was it? Go ahead, Michaels. Let the go ahead. What is it, man? Dave Pertnoy. Dave Portnoy. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. You know, and you going to pay me to that, brother? I mean, I don't know him. I, I'm, I'm cordial to him when I see him. What's your problem, Des? The only issue that I thought that I ever had with Des Bryant involved me coming to the defense of Malika Andrews because she's a journalist and the position that she's in, I know the tenets that come along with the profession in terms of what you have to report and what you have to ask when you're interviewing somebody. I've never had any kind of issue with Des Bryant whatsoever. I don't have an issue with him now. So I'm really sad that you would send out this. You know, it's like, what's up with you? What's going on with your life that your definition of a blessing is beating somebody up. You say we're talking shit. All right. You know, folks like them talk the way they do because they know they can't get touched. No, bro. I talk the way that I talk because I get paid to do it. You just did this shit for free. Who paid you to do this? Any tweet that I send out, any take that I say on first take or even on this podcast, there's monetary compensation that comes along with my takes. Where's yours? If they paid you, if they gave you a show right now, right now, Des Bryant, if they gave you a show and they said 
You could come on ESPN. You could come on YouTube. You could come on Fox. You could come anywhere. And we're going to give you seven figures to give your honest assessment and take on what you're seeing in the world of sports. What would you do? Whisper? Would you put on a muzzle and shut up? Or would you do your job? See, this is the bullshit. This is the kind of stuff that people don't tell y'all. I'm not home sitting there being bothered by nothing and then decide to insert and inflect my thoughts and opinions on stuff. I get paid to do it. And in case you want to sit up there and say, talk shit, okay, is being a professional journalist talking shit? Is working for the New York Daily News and then the Philadelphia Inquirer and CNN and Fox Sports and ESPN. Is that talking shit? Is being a newspaper journalist, one of the best in the business, by the way, go do your homework. Is being a columnist, one of the best in the business, by the way, do your homework. If ultimately graduating to being a radio host and then ultimately a television commentator, one of the best ever, by the way, from what I'm told. That's talking shit now? What if folks out there looked at Des Bryant, you Des Bryant, and they said, yo, man, all you do is catch footballs. The fact is, you could do what most people couldn't do. You were damn good. I miss you. I wish your career had been longer. And by the way, I was kind of interested in you coming on ESPN and giving football analysis. And then I read this. Why? Why? If you see stuff taking place on a football field, taking place on a basketball court, in a world of sports, what's the problem? If you're sitting up there and you're talking about stuff that's in the news that everybody else is talking about and you're giving your take based on the facts that have been disseminated to the public, what's the problem? This tweet is a tweet, is the kind of tweet that that brother Des Bryant would have done a decade ago. You ain't grown? You haven't grown, bro? You haven't evolved? Is that what you're telling me? You're going to go as a grown-ass man and going to tweet about wanting to whip somebody's ass. Who, by the way, is about 40 to 50 pounds lighter than you. You Will Smith now? That's what we doing? Why is it that none of y'all ever talk about? Why don't you talk about wanting to slap the living shit out of somebody the size of Demarcus Lawrence? Or Chris Jones? Or Cameron Hayward? Why don't y'all ever talk about slapping somebody like that? Why is it always somebody smaller? Somebody that ain't in your profession. Hell, Des Bryant could whip Stephen A's ass. I know plenty of people that could whip your ass. I would never encourage it. I want you to succeed. I hope you got a podcast. Don't know whether you do or not. Hope you got one. Hope you got the platform. Hell, my producer's right here. Was I not going to invite Des Bryant on the show in a few weeks? Yes, yes you were. I absolutely was. Because I want to see you succeed. And what I get, minding my business, doing my job that I get paid to do, well, I might add, is I see a tweet from you wishing I was Nate Robinson. Come on, bro. At the end of the day, it's time for you to man up. It's time for you to accept the fact that nobody would have been talking about you if you were not a star football player. If you were some scrub like myself or a very or millions upon millions of others throughout our lives that wasn't good enough you wouldn't have been in that spotlight and you wouldn't have been there to be talked about. But back in the day, you were talked about because you were that dude. 
who ultimately starred for the Dallas Cowboys. And clearly you still holding on to bitterness. All the clips of you back in the day going at the media. That's how you sound now. Well, who's been thinking about Des Bryant now? Is that why you put this tweet out? Because nobody was talking about you? I'm just asking. Come on, bro. You were a damn good football player. You got screwed over. In my opinion. By the Cowboys. Without question by somebody, some folks in the media. You got in a bad rap. And you're a much better person. Than you were given credit for. But this tweet don't represent that. This tweet. Expresses and reveals. Something far different and far less. Than what you are. You better than that bro. No I'm not stepping into the boxing ring. And somebody's not going to step in the ring to kick my ass. Because I ain't going to be in the ring for nobody to kick my ass. I don't have to be. I'm a grown ass man. With a career. I don't have to do that. But if I did. I can assure you. It wouldn't go down like you think. No matter what some bullshit video with me with two torn rotator cuffs from five years ago would show. I got mad love and respect for you, my brother. This was unnecessary. It was uncalled for. And it's beneath you. You better than that. You really, really are. So do better. 